Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to another dollar store video and Merry Christmas. We've made it to the end of November. We can definitely say that now. This video is super special. I'm super stoked. I don't have the words to say it. So like if here's excited, I'm way up here because these are 10 hacks for Christmas that you can use for gifts, decorating, just to make your Christmas cheaper, easier, and all around more festive. All of that said, we're getting started right now. I wanna start this video off with something I have personally done for multiple years now, which is use these heavy duty suction cups from Dollar Tree to hang wreaths on my windows. Check it out, y'all. <laughs> these are not the dinky little 12 pack of suction cups. These are the kind that you push towards the center and then pull down to lock in place. And did you see me pull in there? That's not fake, that's real life, for real. These are heavy duty, very strong. I've used the exact same suction cups, not the same brand or same style, the exact same ones for multiple years now, and I've never had them fall off my windows. Here's where the hat comes into play. <laughs> I have had a wreath or two like fly away during a crazy windstorm or rainstorm or something. So just use one of Dollar Tree's tinsel ties or garland ties to tie your wreath to your hook and it stays in place. I put mine up at the beginning of November, so for a solid two and a half months because I don't take them down to January. By the way, for this type of decor, I really feel like Walmart's the winner. You could get a Dollar Tree wreath form and then two of Dollar Tree's garlands to make your own DIY wreath, or you could spend $2.88 at Walmart. I think Walmart's a better deal, but that's just my opinion. So, you know, your money, you, you do what you want. For this next one is you can hang garland outdoors on your brick without any nails. Just use some Dollar Tree zip ties and some hot glue. So hot glue your brick and then put the zip tie down, wait till that cools, go back and hot glue again. And then you can put your zip tie, like you can connect them to hang your garland. By the way, <laughs> I wanna go ahead and apologize for the shaky cam I have going on here. I was filming with one hand and gluing with the other and that was really hard to do. And by the way, sometimes, not sometimes, all the time in the corners where it's swagging down. I will add like two to three zip ties just to make sure. But this is another one that stays up all year. And then when you're done with it, you want to take it down. You just give a strong tug and the hot glue comes off the brick. No damage to your house or anything. But you don't have a brick house or you don't put garland over your door. No big deal. Here's another idea. Use one of Dollar Tree's garden hooks. Hang it over your fence or if you have a covered porch, the wood beam part, and you can hang garland and wreaths that way just the same. Or you could use this to hang over a curtain rod so you could hang wreaths over your windows indoors. By the way, this huge wreath right here, this is a Dollar Tree hula hoop turned into a super huge wreath for less than $7. I'll have that video linked in the description. And we're on to the next one where we are making a super high end looking centerpiece. I got this inspiration from Home Goods. They went at $30 for this beautiful centerpiece, but I thought, you know what? We can totally make this for a lot less money. All you need is one of Dollar Tree's candle holders. It doesn't matter which one and a pack of their burner covers. The burner covers, you get two for a dollar. And by the way, I'm using the smaller one. Then you can use E6000. I prefer gel super glue. You can pick it up at Dollar Tree and the fast dry time, it doesn't have a smell like E6000. I'm totally aware <laughs> they sell like odorless E6000, but uh, it's fine. I like gel super glue the best. Then just spray paint it black. Then one of Dollar Tree's glass vases and a Dollar Tree candle. And Walmart and Dollar Tree both sell so many beautiful Christmas picks for a dollar or 98 cents. Just pick your favorite four. I'm using Walmart, by the way, and for $8, here's our centerpiece, and for $30, there's theirs. I love the way this turned out. I really love this DIY because I do believe it is super high end. It's something I can put in my home. No one would assume it was a DIY and the florals can be changed out for the season. But here is another option. You could use one of Dollar Tree's cake pans and do the exact same step. So the glue, the spray painting, all that jazz. But 
Here's another decorating option. If you're someone who just loves ribbon and loves the cutesiness and Christmasiness, <laughs> you love to jazz it up a little bit more, you could use some Dollar Tree's ribbon and one of Dollar Tree's bells to hot glue that and just snazz it up a lot and use it as the candle holder, or you could use it to hold your dish soap. So <laughs> I don't have Christmas dish soap, but I, I do like this and I do think I'm gonna use this for my dish soap as like a dish platter because it does add a little bit of more festiveness to the worst task ever of doing dishes. Actually, I hate la do it like doing laundry more, but that's just my opinion. Number five, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the most frivolous, fun and festive DIY ever. I think this would be great to do with kids, honestly. Just get some of Dollar Tree's koozies and any of your favorite Christmas ribbon. Then hot glue your ribbon around the top of the koozie. And the cool thing about this is the hot glue mold, it pretty much like melts the koozie or the foam that the koozie is made out of. So they really become one, like you can't tear this apart at all. Then just make a little bow and you can use one of Dollar Tree's bells. Like I said, they sell so many bells, multiple sizes. They come in large packs all the way down to itty bitty packs that come in a like 50 bells to a pack for only a dollar and decorate your koozie. I love, I love this DIY way more than I should. It was just really fun and just like I said, it's fun, frivolous, and festive. But here's another idea. You could use one of Dollar Tree's paint pens and one of their stencils, and you can write on it too. So they have Christmas stencils, but you could also personalize this and use one of their lettering stencils to write somebody's name or something like that. But just a heads up or a tip, if you are using the stencils and the paint pen, make sure you allow that to dry, it's paint. It's not It's not like a marker. So it does take a good hour to settle in and dry. After that, you can totally get these wet. <laughs> I made four of these, y'all, I'm telling you. I'm almost embarrassed to put this in the video, but I think they're super fun and super cute. I think they make a great gift DIY. And we are on to the next one. Dollar Tree is selling four really cute doormats this year great as is no diy is needed the only problem is they are still super thin dollar tree mats so to fix this dollar tree does sell like no slip rugs but their contact not contact paper their shelf liners are actually pretty much the same thing and it's a better deal you get more for a dollar use that hot glue to the back that's going to keep your rug from going anywhere if you're keeping it indoors if you're keeping it keeping it outdoors, it's going to weigh it down and also going to keep it from flying away. If you feel like it's not thick enough, just do that two times. So hot glue, two shelf liners on the back instead of just one. But here's a way to really beef it up because it is still a small doormat. Whenever I see Dollar Tree selling the thicker carpet looking rugs that are heavy duty rubber on the back, I snatch them up, especially if I can find two of a matching color because you can flip them over and just use regular old duct tape, actually not even real duct tape, fake Dollar Tree brand duct tape to tape them together on the back, that's it. And then you can paint them however you want. Once again, using Dollar Tree's painter's tape. <laughs> I know I'm saying Dollar Tree a lot, but I get so many questions like, where's this from? Where's that from? It's from Dollar Tree. So I say it so everyone knows this is seriously from Dollar Tree. The paint, the spray paint is not from Dollar Tree. This is from Walmart. It's Rust-Oleum's brand spray paint. It's about $3.50. Remove the tape. And by the way, I don't even wait for my tape to dry. So I legit spray it and then just pull it up and get my hands all messy and spray painted. And then you can go back and spray with a different color or a green color like I'm doing. And I've done so many style these rugs. I've done buffalo check. I've done squares. I've even added tassels to them. The possibilities are endless. I'll have those videos linked in the description and at the end of the video. And that just really beefs it up to make it a nice size doormat. Dollar Tree is notorious for selling almost cute items like this Merry Christmas. Now look, if glitter is your thing, you're in luck. They have so many things that are super glittery. If glittery is not your thing, you're also in luck because all you have to do is spray paint it. And this is one of the DIYs I really recommend not using Walmart's 96 cent cheap spray paint. Pay the extra $3, get Rust-Oleum. It's seriously, you save money in the long run. 
Or, you know, hey, check out Walmart's clearance section. They also have Markdown Rust-Oleum brand there too, or nicer brands than Walmart's brand. And we are gonna craft two birds with one stone with this DIY. So snatch up any one of Dollar Tree's year round everyday rugs, flip it over to the back. You have a solid gray or black, Place your Merry Christmas or your star or your snowflake, whatever you're wanting to paint that is super glittery in the middle of your rug. And you will have a spray painted Merry Christmas, star, snowflake, whatever you're doing. And you will have a new rug. So I did have to do two coats for the Merry Christmas, but you can see the glitter is covered. It's not falling off. It, it is textured and this is great to put in the middle of a wreath or just hang on a wall. I actually saw the exact same Merry Christmas at Michael's for like $12, which is crazy. Now back to the rug. If you don't like how kind of the Merry Christmas isn't very defined, you can use Dollar Tree's puff paint and then just go back and fill that in. By the way, I've done so many rugs and I feel like one, spray painting is my favorite way to paint a rug. Second has gotta be puff paint, last acrylic paint. That was the worst, it takes forever to paint it. And by the way, you can use Sharpie marker on rugs too. And we're on the next one. We are not making a doormat, by the way, but we are using one of Dollar Tree's, technically two of Dollar Tree's bath mats. These bath mats are 98% cotton. They have a huge crease on them when you buy them. Throw them in the washer and dryer. That will get rid of the crease. Then cut the corners off so all four corners are cut off and it looks like this. Then you are going to fold and flip the sides inwards and hot glue your two mats together because we are making a pillow. Now for the top and the bottom, you could go back and hot glue those just the same, or you can do what I've done in the past, which is use some of Dollar Tree's yarn or some of Dollar Tree's twine along with a larger upholstery needle or a hair sewing needle and do a blanket stitch. Now I have shown this so many times. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting so repetitive. I'm running out of ideas maybe, I don't know. So many times on my channel and I will have a full tutorial video linked in the description. So whether you hot glue or you want to sew, the best deal I can think of or that I have found is using Dollar General's value pillows for $2 and one value pillow, pillow, one value pillow will make two throw pillows. Now here's what we're gonna do to Christmas it up. Just use one of Dollar Tree's felt cutout designs. They have snowflakes, they have ornaments, they have trees, they have whatever your Christmas heart desires and just hot glue that to your pillow. This is a temporary decorative pillow, so hot gluing is just fine, but you could totally sew this. You could even get really creative and sew and spell out the word Mary, Noel, or Joy to really jazz those pillows up. And number nine, we are making kissing balls. This is something I've never done on my channel, but I have used this technique, which is use some of Dollar Tree's toy foam balls, which is cheaper than Walmart's styrofoam balls. And I actually like these, well, I'll just tell you why, why I like these balls better. Anyways, all you have to do is spray paint your ball. You can totally use some of Walmart's cheap spray paint to spray paint them black or white and actually that's the only color that Walmart's cheap spray paint comes in. It's only black or white, but just spray paint that, let it dry. Then Walmart and Dollar Tree, like we talked about earlier, is selling so many super cute styles of $1.98 florals. I bought a bunch of these mini wreaths because I really loved the floral and the berries on them, but I had the DIY I had planned didn't work out. So anyways, I'm using those, but you can just use regular floral stems and then cut each stem off your pick. The cool thing about this DIY is if you're just using stems, there's no hot glue needed. You literally just stab this into the ball. And that's why I like it better than styrofoam balls. These toy balls are more dense, the type of foam it is. So when you stab a pick in there, it's really snug and tight. It's not going anywhere. This is the first time I've ever really hot glued florals to the ball. And to be honest, it took longer. So if you're gonna recreate this, I would suggest not using the candle the wreath forms because it took a long time to dry, but let me rewind. 
it looks like you need a lot more florals than you really do for this DIY. So you can see there are huge gaps all over this ball. You don't need to cover every inch. In fact, there are areas where you leave like two inches uncovered. I've done these balls multiple times to make topiaries and stuff like that. Every single time you only need seven to 10 florals, $1 florals from Walmart or from Dollar Tree. And this is just a really cute kissing ball. And by the way, like I mentioned, I've made a topiary like in this video for Christmas, but I've also made one for everyday summer decor in this video and have those also linked in the description. Oh, and by the way, I did hot glue ribbon to the top to hang it. And we are on to the last one where these chalkboard tags are sold by Dollar Tree. I think it's a great buy for $6. And as I mentioned before, they have the paint pen, which looks like chalk paint or chalk written chalkboard paint marker. The type of chalkboard paint marker where you can erase. Use those to make gift tags or stocking tags. Dollar Tree has so many stencils. I free handed the names, but I did use Dollar Tree stencils to color in the trees. And those stencils that you get for Christmas, they come two to a pack, which is a great deal. And if you missed my last video, I made five wreaths using $1 items. Or if you are just totally digging all things Christmas, I do have a Christmas playlist where I have all my Christmas DIYs from this year, including a lot of videos I have mentioned in this video. I also have a Dollar Tree high-end DIY decor playlist. And hey, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.